Hey, I'm in the UK for my very first time, which seems crazy to me because I travel all over the world for barbecue. But we're in Malden, where Malden salt originates from. Really delicious salt. I've cooked with it for years. Beautiful setting. You can tell by looking over my shoulders how pretty it is here. And it just happens to be the setting for this weekend's 2023 Smoke and Fire Festival, which is a really cool event. There's music, there's beer, there's food, of course, which is the reason that I'm here. They also have some other things that make this festival really unique. They have two eating contests. They have one that's spicy chicken wings. Then they have a chili uh, eating competition, which is not a bowl of chili with meat. It's spicy chilies. And I think it starts with the least hot one being jalapeno and then it goes up from there. They've also got a cooking competition. So their cooking competition is a little bit different than the types of competitions that I've done. They call it a freestyle event. So there's gonna be categories of different proteins, but they're very open in how they allow the pit masters or the chefs to interpret those. One of the things that we have found out about British barbecue, it's a melting pot. There's so many different cultures here in England, so there's gonna be a lot of taste and, and different takes on cooking with fire. The reason that I'm here, the reason that we're here is to check out the food. But we're gonna head in there, hopefully meet some of the cooks, meet some of the pit masters, and maybe uh, get a taste of what they're making and see what it's all about. This is a man dedicated. My name's Richard. I'm the chef director of Any Street Kitchen. Uh, we specialize in only cooking on open fire. We cook on kiln dried oak and we specialize in working with our rotisserie uh, open pit barbecue and our two 400 gallon smokers. Today we will be cooking rotisserie chickens marinated in Raz Al Hanout. We have our pastrami pork ribs. They've been marinated and cured over seven days and they've been in the smoker for the last 16 hours. We also use local Cumberland sausages from Humphreys Butchers. Pride ourselves in using local farm to table produce all the time. So any street kitchen is for anyone, anywhere and we believe in everybody being able to eat fresh, clean food. We are aiming to feed around two and a half thousand people over the next 72 hours, basically what we're doing today. Hi, it's uh, Dave Pearson from Mexican. We're at Smoke and Fire today. Uh, we're cooking up some smoked pork, seven hour maple chips smoked pork, some 12 hour whiskey barrel smoked uh, brisket, mainly influenced by uh, a lot of what's coming from America, obviously. We make all our own salsas and the pork comes with a delicious pineapple and tomatillo salsa, the beef with an ancho and orange salsa. And uh, we're looking forward to a good day with the sun shining. So Smoke and Fire has been a great festival for us and the organizers run it really well and there's a real buzz around the whole Smoke and Fire element of cooking here, so it's great. My name is Konstantin Sherbu. I'm uh, from Bucharest, Romania. And today, for all the people, traditional Romanian food. I cook in lamb, chicken, uh, lamb shoulder, pork, suckling pig. I have everything for everybody. Smoke. Yesterday, he was 70 lamb, 20 lamb shoulder, two suckling pig, 30 chicken, three, 400 kilo. I don't know, I don't remember how many he was yesterday, very much. Problem today is the phone. He don't have the smell. You, you, you smell my, my lamb my everything what I put in barbecue. The phone, you don't have smell. I'm Joshua Ramone from Qpoint. Part of Qpoint, what we do is um, Afghan barbecue. Our hashtag is barbecue for the many, not the few. And the idea of that is, is that we use permissible meats, which are halal. So we've got the beef rib on today. We've got the lamb ribs. Lamb ribs are coming with the Afghan chutney. I started with a smokestack, so he introduced me to the idea of smoking and the massive cuts of meat and the beef and the beef ribs and stuff. And I kind of took it from there and decided that I kind of wanted everybody to, to eat it. And me and my partner kind of distributed it as the permissible meat that we've got going on. It came about by loving barbecue and my partner, my business partner, who, who loves Afghan food and is, is from Afghanistan. And is, is a huge part of, our, part of our life, realistically. Cause for such a long time My heart is on hold Like a bag of dirty clothes Just a bag of dirty clothes
I'm Mr. David Laguneda, I'm the chef director of Tempa Restaurants. We specialize in whole beef butchery, small beets, barbecue, mainly Latin American, but from flavors from all over the world. And the, the beauty of it is diversity and the, the fact that it's all cooked over fire. We're serving the um, greedy cow, which is basically a smoked brisket, uh, top bits, which are these guys here, together with all the muscles from the rear leg of the cow. So we have to uh, top side, silver side, round, where we used to make sausages as well, spicy beef sausages. In addition to that, we have a couple of tacos. We have a pork taco with two different sauces, and we have a lamb taco. We're cooking the lamb over there. We cooked one already overnight, and that's the second one today. We sold three yesterday, so quite successful. Yeah, so it's all fun. We have a couple of sites as well. Other than that, it's uh, full on. Yesterday was uh, incredibly busy, uh, a lot of fun. Um, I'm here with all of my chefs, and uh, yeah, we're hoping, we're hoping today it's gonna be like yesterday or even better. I'm Marcus and I run UK Barbecue School down in Devon in the UK and I teach lots of people how to barbecue. British barbecue, kept simple. We always grilled and now we're gradually learning to slow things down and cook low and slow. Fired by the state and it's really changing how we barbecue in the UK and it's really exciting. Flavour profile would be more savoury, not so sweet, lots of herb and garlic and subtle sweet smoke. We've done a real range of demos, just a wonderful self-tuffy, absolutely smashed it with the ribs. Uh, we've done dirty steaks, steaks with charcoal on top, tomahawk steaks. We've done a real range of beautiful food cooked over fire, just to represent what we do here in the UK. At Smoke and Fire Festival, there's so many components to this three-day event, one of which is a freestyle cooking competition, everything cooked over live fire. I've got a separate video on that, but meanwhile, let's go check it out and take a look. So that's a wrap. Uh, beautiful location here in Malden. Uh, wonderful weekend at Smoke and Fire Festival. If you didn't know, barbecue is live and well in England. Uh, if you'd be so kind, give us a follow on YouTube, Instagram. Hope to see you soon. Do it again. <laughs>